Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome to Combat Ready HQ. Today we are looking at India's Army Hell March 2024. I have looked at the 2023, but about two weeks later this happened. So everyone asked if I could react and review and comment to this. So I thought I might as well. I really enjoyed the last one, so let's enjoy this one. India's Republic Day Parade. It's a very big parade for them. Um, just celebrating India as a nation and then in my eyes it's a bit of a show of force look at our military this is what we've got you've got other stuff in there as well with sort of bikes shows and sort of acrobat sort of stuff that comes into it as long with obviously all the military the marching and the drill so it'd be interesting to see what happens in the 2024 what's different what units we see what vehicles we see as always like subscribe turn notifications bell on and comment with what your thoughts are, what you want to see next. But what, what we do now is we get into it and let us know. So this is obviously President and that turning up straight away. You've got high security. Those Range Rovers, you can tell those tyres look like they've got carrying a bit of weight. So I reckon they're armoured. Um, so we've got some armoured vehicles, standard security, guys in suits. You can see the earpieces. I reckon a few of them, they'll obviously all be carrying some sort of weapon system as well. Uh, and they've got some medals here, haven't you? Uh, do you get quite a few campaign medals? Or is it a bit like the Americans where you get a medal for passing training as well? Um, as well as your operational stuff or the uk we just get sort of jubilees coronations operational and then like for good service let's let us know you have to be all over your kit most highly pressed highly polished who's this I'm really sorry to be ignorant, but she's obviously very important. Here we go, got the cavalry. In the UK, that's called the King's Guards. Um, you know, household cavalry regiment. And then you have the other guard units as well. A bit of artillery pieces look like some sort of 105. Here we go. Right, what are we going to see? It's French Foreign Legion, isn't it? Is that the French Foreign Legion? Right, so tanks. I would say, what's that? T90? So there's your main battle tank. Yeah, T90. Not a bad tank, I wouldn't say it's the best, but it's a good, so we've got some BMP variants. So let's keep going, right, there we go. So that is a BMP2. The way you'll be able to tell is you look at the wheels, um, but by the gun. So for a BMP1, it's a lot shorter, stockier barrel. BMP2, long, thin barrel. BMP3, long, thick barrel. Uh, that's how you can tell the difference between the BMPs. So obviously personnel, sort of armoured carriers. BMP2 there on the side. So what's this? A little dirt buggy, all-terrain vehicle. I want one of them. Nice. These are, what unit are these again, that badge? Are they like the para commandos? If I remember rightly, please confirm in the you know comment section. But these are para commandos, I believe, or of some sort. Nice rigid salute, eyes right. Here we go. Multiple rocket launch system. Yeah, so let's have a look. Nice. Yeah, so back then that was the multiple rocket launch system. It wasn't the exact same variant the UK and the US use. 
Uh, we have the MRS, what's well, called the GMRS, because it's got guided rockets inside it. Um, but yes, the multiple rocket launch system looked like it held up to 12 rockets. These are your weapon locating radars. So what we have in the UK, we have Mamba is a very popular one. And this just helps you locate sort of counter, so you can do counter battery fire, um, detecting mortars. And then these are your engineering assets. So you're bridging. Signals, get the antennas up. So quick fact, it's not an aerial, it's an antenna. An aerial is one way it receives an antenna. You can receive and send. There you go. Same cat badge as the UK, same colours pretty much. Here we go, another rocket system. Here we go. MR some launcher. Nice. This looks like some surface to air missile. Here we go, the drill. Look at this. I always find fascinating is um show you look how far they swing their arms to the rear and they're all in time very impressive oh that leg was up look at that look how high their arm goes to the rear very similar to the uk but we don't go so far to the rear love it all in step that looks like a rifles cat badge in the UK as well, but the difference is search up the rifles regiment. They do light drill. The only unit in the British Army does completely different drill to the rest of the army. We all do heavy, they do light. But these are all in time. This is very, very impressive. Ooh, the Air Force. Look, not one person's out of step. They're all in line, covered off. It's good to see, look at them. All the medals on, highly polished. What sort of medals have we got here? Be interested to know. Look at that, look how in time they are. Eyes. Right. Look at that, spot on, well done. Well done. Well done, India. Very impressive. Yeah. What are these? Female only platoons? Female only regiments? There's no males there. Interesting. Okay. Swing that around, mate. They must have practiced and rehearsed this over and over and over again to get this on time. Like absolutely spot on. So obviously, every time they get to a certain position, they're going to do an eyes right. The front person, front basically officer will salute or the front few officers will salute and the rest will just bring the head and eyes over to the right. The front right hand marker will keep their face looking forward to keep everyone in step. This is very impressive. Female pilots, fighter pilots. I'm guessing they've obviously got these aircraft flying over as well. So a lot of medals flying about. Pretty much everyone has around three medals from what I can see. Even like between the Navy, Air Force and the Army. Here 
There you go. Is this more female only ones? Yeah, it is. No, no, I think there's males in there. Look how are. Look at their arms at the rear. So hard to do. Oh, those got their legs up. Backpipes. Camels. So my question is, really cool, looks great. Would you really want to go to war on a camel nowadays if you had the choice? I don't know if I'd want to. I really don't know if I'd want to. Not very comfortable. So this is where we sort of go away from the military now um, and this is more like the traditions of India as before it was you had all the regiments and platoons marching by uh, what sort of vehicles you have look this is what we've got all nice highly polished we're here um, that's where my sort of show of force but it's also obviously paying respect um, to, to the ones that serve and you know putting their lives on the line as well they get to show off what they actually do and what they have and what they do throughout their day-to-day -day business and there goes the bikes <laughs> just spinning around <laughs> Uh, fair enough you know it's impressive you know having the balls to do that it's not what I would want to do but you know it looks like they're all having fun there we go how do you go to work um, I stand on a ladder and ride my bike yeah oh very impressive you know um really enjoyed that it's always great to see uh you know some are very similar obviously being so close and obviously india used to be part and obviously so close to the uk mrs systems very similar you know like the cat badges with the artillery and the royal signals um all very similar the drills not you know arm shoulder high enough but i say the drill is pretty different um and the, the drill was just spot on it was so good to see well done india on that one hope you enjoyed the video Comment below what your thoughts are and I'll see you.